the work I'm going to be talking about today, I'm actually going to, I'm going to weave two stories. So the main storyline is, as Alex said, is the work that we did at uh, Megagon about developing AI for people's well-being. Um, now, I've been at Facebook for about eight months now, so I don't have, you know, great stories to tell about uh, the work at Facebook. It's all in a very initial phase. But the subplot, that the, the, the second story that I'm going to weave in today is that if you look a little bit from a distance at the work that we did at Megagon, there are going to be some uh, touch points. There are going to be places um, where Facebook or social, uh, social media companies in general can uh, benefit or think about the same issues that we, we were thinking about at, at Megagon. And that's uh, driving some of the thoughts that I'm, that I'm uh, uh, involved in today. So the names that you see on the slide are, are all people from Megagon. And there's a lot of follow-up work. Um, since I left Megagon, they've actually been much more productive. Uh, so <laughs> you, you can go to, their, to the website of uh, megagon.ai and there are, there are quite a few uh, follow-up papers to what I'm going to be talking about today. So, um, so let me tell you about, let me give you the outline of, of the story that I'm going to uh, tell you about. So when, when we started Megagon, uh, the problem that we were looking at was, um, is it possible for artificial intelligence uh, to help people's well-being? Can we improve uh, the happiness, the, the well-being of people's uh, lives through AI, okay? We knew it was a very ambitious goal, and, and obviously we haven't, uh, we're nowhere near solving the problem, but um, we were going to start thinking about what that means uh, in terms of technology. Uh, to do that, we chose, uh, by the way, I encourage questions if possible during this, so not sure how that works, but um, stop me and I'll, I'll answer. Um, so I suggest if you want to ask a question, uh, please raise your hand and I will uh, recognize you uh, and, and, and you'll ask a question. Awesome. We should, we should, somebody should just be brave and try it to see if that works. Uh, I haven't said anything yet. There's nothing to ask. The, um, so in order to, to pursue this line of research, we had to choose, uh, we chose one application to build, uh, which would sort of drive all the questions that we were asking. And this one, this is, uh, the application is called Joe, the smart journal. I'll tell you, tell you about it in a moment. It's basically a journaling application that learns about your habits, 